Right, morning YouTube, it's uh, Glenn here, Glow 15 Um I was hoping to do some more some more comparisons of uh some more comparisons of blending tobaccos but I still can't seem to shake off this cold. So uh, instead I'm gonna talk about twist tobaccos. Now I've got a couple I'm gonna talk about today. Um I've got five five different versions with me. Uh, but there are uh, there are seven different versions available on the market produced by Gareth and Hogarth or Gareth Hogarth. Um, first of all, we're going to talk about Brown Twist. Um, now, Brown Twist comes in three different thicknesses, and it also comes in three different styles. Uh, what I've got here is I have two of the styles here, so I'm going to start off with the small one. So we'll just get those out the road for the moment. So we'll start first with brown pigtail now this comes on a roll much like the one i just showed you a moment ago there we go there's a picture of the brown pigtail now what this is is brown twist is a, a ball of dark fire cured virginia leaf now this stuff is hand twisted it's packed much like a cigar is in fact i do actually have an image of it yeah, i love the, the i love the trusty gallop catalog um here we go you can see somebody sorry the quality is not particularly great i might scan and upload these later Um, it's kind of hand bunched um, and then kind of just twisted up like a rope so it's kind of a cross between cigar and rope making um, not many people not many people tend to smoke this one in a pipe uh, it's predominantly chewed and this is kind of the English version of chewing tobacco uh, I'm from a mining town there used to be two pits in the small town I came from um, so this is like I say this is your brown pigtail predominantly chewed you can slice it and put it into your pipe but it's so small it's uh, a little bit of a nightmare to do so this stuff's just kind of rolled into a big ball cut off I get it in I just I sell it by weight sort of thing it's uh, quite a cheap tobacco extremely strong though um, say so it's all fire cured Virginia it's quite tightly compact there's a lot of tobacco in there moving on from that you move up to the next thickness the 15 centimeter version uh, which is called bogey uh, some call it brown bogey but we call it happy bogey I've got no idea why, but it seems to have to, it seems to have several names. This happens with a lot of Gower tobaccos, I guess. They've been around for a while. Some shops call things different things. Um, the difference in the production method of this one is once it's been rolled, it's then um, it's then compacted and compressed under pressure, much like a flake tobacco is. Um, and basically, it just makes it a little bit more a little bit more square sort of thing. Um, this again, most people tend to chew this. A few do shred this one in their pipe. Um, I think it's because I only have an, un, an unsweetened version of this specific tobacco. After that, you move up to the 20 centimeter diameter version. Sorry, this is unraveling. I've been trying to shoot this video several times and I'm not happy with how it's come out. So this is Irish brown, brown Irish. Now, this is the much thicker version. Um, we sell this flavored. Um, like I say, you can get it in just straight on flavoured. You can get it sweet or extra sweet. What I've actually got here is I've got some sweet rum twist here. Um, I do carry, without sweetness, I do carry a cinnamon. I also do a sweet vanilla and a sweet black cherry. But you can get it in apple, aniseed, many flavours. They'll put anything onto it for you. Um, I have unravelled this just to show you how the tobacco is made up. Um, as you can see... It's literally just a roll of leaves. You can unravel it, sort of thing, and you do literally just have off cuts of leaf. And the stuff just smells of rum. Rum and fire cured Virginias. Let's just get these bits of leaf out of the way. So, yeah, so this is your brown twist. This is the stronger version of the two. I'll come on to black in a moment. So you've got your 10 centimeter version, your 15 centimeter version, your 20 centimeter version. The only difference is that's been also put under pressure, where they've just been left on a left on a roll sort of thing. Um, I've got sweet here, straight natural, and I've also got sweet with casings as well. They will do extra sweet. And like I say, if I ask nicely, they'll put pretty much any flavorings onto this for me. So moving on from that, we then move on to the black twists. Now these come in four different sizes, not the three sizes I've just used in a reference to the um, used in reference to the brown twist just then. So this is first things first. This is the pigtail. Uh, this is the ten centimeter version. Um, all the black twists have been compressed under pressure, much like the bogey I showed you a moment ago. So to give you an idea of how this affects the size, they are both ten centimeter twists. 
the black pig has been put under a lot of pressure it's been extra cooked so it's still a dark virginia but it's been cooked and steamed much like a cavendish characteristics are very similar to a cavendish um like i say the only difference is this has been compressed into a twist a lot of people like i say most people chew black pig black pigs our biggest selling twist you basically take a small piece about yay big and you just pack it down the side of your gum like you would any 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 dutch style chewing tobacco so that's your brown that's your brown pig your black pig sorry 10 centimeter diameter version i don't have any with me i don't carry it in the shop but i can also get black pig, black bogey um which again is the 15 centimeter version so much like the brown bogey but obviously it's just been stoved and heat cooked after that you move up to black irish x now black irish x is the 20 centimeter version so it starts off as the size of the piece of brown twist i showed you a moment ago then put under pressure shrinks so it compresses down loses its size um this is very very popular for slicing putting into your pipe but we don't want the 20 centimeter version that's a bit small so we go for the triple x the monster stuff now this is 25 centimeter diameter um it comes on like one and a half kilo rolls um i probably sell that in a month sort of thing um now this stuff this stuff is what's making its way around youtube at the moment i'm personally not a big fan of smoking the twist the black twist the brown twists are nice, but I do cut them down with a lot of um, so like American style Cavendishes and things like that. I do smoke cinnamon twist on its own, but you have to leave it out to dry out because it's very hard to get it lit. You just sit and slice it up with a cigar cutter sort of thing. But yeah, so they're the twists. So like I say, um, you've got your black twists, which are cooked a lot like a Cavendish. Um, way back in the day, they had another name. Um, to give you an idea, I'm not going to mention it because it's not politically correct and all that kind of stuff. But it's Spanish for black, followed by head. Um, a very old traditional way of transporting tobacco. Like I say, you can chew it, you can pair it up and put it into your pipe. But it's a very, very strong, strong Virginia tobacco. And then there was also, like I say, the brown twists, which for the for Night Door and Wandering Recluse who found the black triple X strong, um, I'll have to send you some brown twists so you can give that a try because that will blow your socks off. Right, so I hope you found this video, I hope you found this video informative. Um, I've shot it so many times, I hope I've got everything in that I wanted to say and I've not stumbled over myself too much. So, so yeah, these are your twists. You've got your black cook twists and you've got your fire cured, fire cured Virginia twists. Thinner stuff is predominantly chewed, your thicker stuff is predominantly shredded, shredded and put into the pipe and, and smoked. So yeah, uh, I do refer to these as my top shelf tobaccos that's because in the shop they're along the top shelf um don't appeal to a lot of people who are pipe smokers so most people like aromatics this stuff is the complete opposite end of the spectrum so yeah so like i say top shelf tobaccos very 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 strong very traditional and um thank you very much for watching if anyone's got any questions let me know um there'll be a bit more information in the comments at the bottom so like I say, take care, enjoy your Sunday guys, and I'll catch up with you all very, very soon. Hopefully I've kicked this cold, and so I can start smoking some neat perique in both cigarettes and in a pipe. Take care, goodbye.